Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming my August empties. I have a couple more days of vacation. August 30th is a, a day off in, in the UK. It's a, kind of a summer holiday. They're not really celebrating anything, but it's just one of those days that you get as a bank holiday. So I'm not starting work on a Monday. I'm actually starting on a Tuesday. And I'm very excited about that because I just feel that it's always better to start on a Tuesday. I, I don't like the Monday madness. But anyway, I'm very happy. I have rested quite a lot. I can't say I have done much during my vacation, but I feel that I'm reviving. I still feel a little bit tired, but I, I, I think it was really needed. I really needed to take some time off. I needed to just sleep and eat. Uh, I'm not wearing any makeup, but my skin is glowing. I'm only wearing a little bit of a uh, MAC Marrakesh that is very, very sheer. But I can't remember the last time that my skin had absolutely no makeup on it. I only have sunscreen and looked like this. Uh, I just feel rested, so I'm very grateful for that. Now, I did film an empties video uh, a few weeks ago, and I, as I was starting coming back to my channel, I had filmed quite a lot of empties just because since I had disappeared for a while, I had finished a lot of products. And although this is completely full, I am pretty sure that again, uh, for September, I will have another full thing. Uh, because although I did buy a few things, I think that I didn't buy as much as I have been using. So it's getting quite easy for me to finish stuff. So let's get started. Uh, I'm trying to see if I can put some order into this, but maybe not. So you remember a couple of videos ago, I got rid of this sunscreen just because it was expired. It's something that I had bought over two years ago. And once I wore it, it really uh, was itchy on my skin. I don't really have sensitive skin, except here, this area is very sensitive. But uh, I wore it on my face, I did not like it, and I thought that it was quite thick. Um, this is not the, the transparent fluid. I still like the brand Anthelios by La Roche Posay, and I bought the fluid which I showed you uh, a couple of videos ago in one of my, um, I think my, um, what I packed video. Uh, and so I am using that. It's just that this needs to go because it is expired. Staying with these type of products, I have this 100% cold pressed virgin marula oil. It's by The Ordinary, so it is quite inexpensive. I had this for a while and I initially bought it to use as a moisturizing oil to hydrate my face. Um, however, what happened? I just feel like I didn't enjoy it as much on my face or I get lazy with it. I don't know what happened. I just found myself not really using it on my face. And so because I wanted to still use it and it was getting old, I just decided to start using it on my hair. Now, I'm very, 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 very lazy with my hair. So the only thing that I do is that I would wash it, so effectively shampoo it, and then I would apply some kind of cream, whatever cream I have, and then I twist it like this. And this way I don't have to touch it. And that's very, that really works for my lifestyle. Which means that I don't really have time to faff around with, you know, different products and styles and whatever. So this oil would come at the last step after I have just twisted my hair where I would just try to seal it. Um, and so it did take me a bit of, of time to finish it. But I have finished it on my hair, not on my face. I'm not going to repurchase it for now because I do have a couple oils from Kerastase that I need to go through first. Then also from The Ordinary, I do have a couple products here. Uh, both of them are not finished and both of them I'm getting rid of. The first one is Retinol 1% in Squalane. And what happened with this is that I remember having bought some Retinol in Squalane in different uh, strengths. And I remember when I had the 0.25%, I used it and it was completely fine. I used up the whole bottle. Then I moved to the 0 0.5 and I remember using it. And then at some point, every time I used it, I felt that my skin didn't feel right. And it's only then that I took the time to read it one day, just completely by accident. And I realized that you're supposed to keep it in the fridge after you open it. So I kind of kept it and finished it. And then when I opened this 1% uh, in Squalane, 
I put it in my fridge and I realized that it was very, very complicated for me. The fact of having to go to the fridge to get a piece of skincare just doesn't work with my lifestyle. I just don't do it. And so it just stayed there for months. And I realized, look, I'm not going to use it anytime soon. Once you open this, it only lasts for three months after opening. So it is effectively expired. And I decided to never buy this again because I'm not buying anything that I have to keep in, a, in, a, in, in the fridge. So unfortunately, that's something that I have to get rid of. Then I have this uh, also from The Ordinary AHA 30% BHA 2% Peeling Solution. I must say I've only used this once or twice a long time ago. Again, it has a 12-month uh, shelf life, so this is definitely expired. But I remember even when I used it, it felt quite aggressive. And I don't think that I am comfortable using something so aggressive on my skin just because I'm not really that adventurous. So, yes, it is expired. And that is the main reason why I'm tossing it. But also, there is a reason I was not reaching to this. Like, I was, I would be using Kate Somerville exfoliate. I would use even a, a relatively physical exfoliator like the, the Problem Solver by Mailinstrom. But all of these felt a bit safer. And this, I always kind of put it off until it went off. So, that's that. I'm trying to see if I have anything else skincare related. Um, I would think that is effectively it. So let's move on to other hair and body and makeup. So I have a couple of things related to nails. So I have this Sally Hansen Insta Sally Hansen Insta Dry Top Coat, and this is something that I've had for a few months. Uh, it was getting harder and harder to get to it because it's really like down to here. It's it's almost finished, and I kept adding the thinner drops but it just became too gloopy and it's very difficult because it's at the end of the brush so I couldn't get anything more from that and I anyway had bought the top coat from Rimmel which I showed you a few videos ago and at the end of this video I will um, show you my updated uh, uh, bathroom beauty cabinet so you see the status of everything because over the past videos I've been showing you things that I bought I've shown you now things that I finished so it's always good to see how that looks once you put it all together same thing for this OPI start to finish. This is a base coat, top coat, nail strengthener. So it's one of those three in ones. Again, it was gloopy, it was getting to the end, and I've been adding these thinner um, uh, drops from Mavala. I've used it a couple of times recently, and it just it was just too gloopy, and so I ended up also getting rid of this. And instead, I've gotten again a replacement from Rimmel. It's a fraction of the price, and I really like the Rimmel stuff. Uh, it doesn't have to be expensive for it to be good. I don't shy away from expensive products, but the Rimmel thing just works, even though it's not expensive, so why? And then I'm tossing a couple a couple of these nail polish remover pads. Uh, the only reason I'm tossing them is that these, were, these are very, very old. This is something that I've had from Belgium, so it's at least four years old, um, and I'm not going to use it. And this one is from Boots, and I bought it back in the day when I thought that, um, you know, I'd be traveling and it would be part of my travel bag. Um, I didn't travel in 18 months, um, and so as I was preparing, I remember as I was packing to go to Scotland, I was thinking, yes, I need, I need some pads, and then I realized I had this, but it, is, it expires within six months, and I've had it for over two years, so I just thought, you know what, I need to get rid of that. I'm doing quite a lot of clearing. You can't see it here, but I'm really going through a lot of different uh, uh, corners of my place and I'm assessing everything that I have because I don't want to have expired things that I anyway would never be using. Then I finished uh, these cotton pads. Uh, these are just the uh, from Boots. These, are, these were very large cosmetic pads that I had bought uh, over two years ago, actually, when I did my... I, I bought them for a surgery, I think three years ago, if I'm not mistaken, because I think it was for my eye surgery, but I also used them for my foot surgery, and then I used them also for my second foot surgery. So I've had this for a long time, but it's cotton, so it doesn't expire. And then once I no longer had any medical procedure that required me to use something like this, I would just cut them in half and use them for my nails. And um, after I finished these, 
uh, I ended up buying uh, some organic cotton pads from Boots uh, just to replace them. But I've had them for a while because before that I was using the ones from Muji, the, the, the very big uh, box from Muji. I had been using it for a long, long, long time. But then the Muji store closed, so when I finished those, I ended up trying to finish this because I didn't want to have them uh, uh, in my place. Same thing for these baby lotion wipes. These are from Hema. That's a shop that was 10 minutes away from my place in Belgium. So these are over four years old. And I don't even remember why I had bought them. Again, it was one of those times when I, had, I used to travel m many days a week. But when I moved to the UK, I'm not traveling with, it, with the same intensity. And so something that yeah, I've had for four years and that has been in storage and that has traveled with me from Belgium to here, I wouldn't want to use it now. And it's probably dry by now. Um, so a couple other older things I have are this. Uh, this is a pocket bag. It's an antibacterial hand gel from Bath & Body Works. And this is in the very, very, very old format. So there was a time. Uh, back in the day when I used to travel to the US, I would buy these by the dozens. Before it was something that people do now, where everybody's using antibacterial gel, I was really into that. Um, and I used to have these in every bag. And so what happened is that why, when I wanted to go to Henley, to the, to, to the regatta, I, I, I took a bag that is a sort of a wicker bag. And because I used to have this in every uh, handbag, I got that one from storage and I found this and I know how old it is, so I'm not going to use it. And that's why I'm getting rid of it. Um, it was just, it just lived in my bag forever. Then I have a couple makeup items. This is a Rimmel Match Perfection Skin Tone Adapting Concealer and the color is 040 Classic Beige. I vividly remember when I bought this. I had a work meeting and I needed to go for a, a, to a workshop somewhere up north and I had to take a, a, a very early train. I remember running to the station, I had no makeup on, nothing. And I remember at some point, for some reason, I looked at myself and I was like, oh my god, I look like that. Um, obviously at the time I was not rested, I had like very dark under eye circle. And so I remember vividly buying this from the boots at uh, Houston station. It was just an emergency buy and uh, I bought it just to, to, to look like I was alive since I was going to talk to these people for so many hours and I needed to give them the energy and um, you know, it's a workshop, right? I've used it a few times since then. It is a decent product, product but I don't have, uh, um, like it's not my favorite formula and I also had a lot of other products to use since then. And so I realized that I've had it for a long time because that workshop was two and a half years ago. And so it needed to go. So that's expired. A concealer that I finished on the other hand is the Too Faced Born This Way multi-use sculpting concealer. And this one is in Butterscotch. It's a very good product that has lasted me forever. Uh, this is a 15 ml, so it's quite big, and it comes with a doe foot applicator. And I had removed the stopper that you typically have in here and really scraped it. And I had even used a, a long brush to scrape every bit of it. And uh, honestly, it's quite a lot of product. So you could go a year or two with this. Um, I don't remember when I bought it, but this was not expired. This was well within the one year use, but I got a lot, a lot of, uh, of uh, value out of this. I remember I had bought it from a Boots. I have another one of these in a color called, so this is Butterscotch. So the, the other color that I have is Mocha. It's a little bit darker. Uh, and that's the one that I'm going to use because it's anyway open. Uh, I had bought them around the same time, but I think I had used butterscotch before I used the, the mocha one. Right now, I'm not using any concealer, but when I start going back to work, I'm going to definitely use it just for under my eyes to, you know, to cover any, any blue bits. Also, I usually tend to have this discoloration. You can see I have all these dots from whenever I had extractions or if I here I had a I had a sort of a small pimple the other day. Um, whenever I have a pimple or something like that, I will have some dark discoloration for a good six to nine months. 
on days like this where I'm not working on doing anything I don't really care so I'm not wearing any makeup but in other days I would if, if I feel very self-conscious about something or if I have under eye uh, dark circles which is typically the case whenever I'm working I'm going to use the this concealer but I highly recommend it it was quite expensive uh, I remember I, I, I when I bought it I was thinking that is quite expensive but now seeing how long it lasted me that was totally totally worth it and then I'm just looking in front and I have two construction workers in front of me but that's fine um, dental care I have finished two, two um, travel size um, uh, toothpaste so one is Sensodyne Pro Enamel Intensive Enamel Repair and the other one is Sensodyne Sensitivity and Gum and now that I think of it I actually don't think that I bought them I think my dentist gave me these uh, the second one I finished it when I was in Scotland so you've seen it when I showed you what I had packed I think they're, they're, they're fine I just uh, I had them so I thought I need to use them because as I said I was trying to finish all the things that I have in travel size since then I bought the Veleda one which is a soft toothpaste I only started using it two days ago and it's quite interesting I like it uh, I'll show you it when I when I show you my uh, beauty cabinet and then I also bought the Waken toothpaste um, when I was in Scotland because they just came up with that. So I was like, yeah, let me try it. Uh, I have these Dental Part Premium Sterilizing Tablets. So I showed you in my August vlog that I bought the Dental Part thing to clean my mouth guard. I'm not very happy with it. Honestly, the, 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 when you look at the videos in the ads, they show you something that was very cloudy and then it comes out sparkling clean mine doesn't do that uh, my my mouth guard is still quite cloudy so i don't regret buying it because anyway i mean it does something i suppose i hope but it's not as amazing as the advertising makes it sound so i wouldn't repurchase it again but i'm not going to return it then i have a couple soaps uh this is organi with double i everyday organics this one is rose and geranium and I just had one of these in, in this scent and then I think I had another one in something like something citrusy lemongrass and what happened is that when I was away um, I had a bit of water under my sink I didn't really realize this because I washed I hand washed a dress and when I did this apparently some water went went uh, under my sink but anyway when I got back I had the intention of organizing my under sink storage a little bit but you know because I had the intention to organize it I didn't really necessarily commit to going really there but when I came I, I found that there was a puddle of water and it kind of forced me to organize my things anyway so I had to actually not do it halfway but like put everything out clean it etc which is which is fine but it's just it's just funny because I was thinking I'm going to organize them going to organize it but when I arrived I got lazy and the water thing kind of forced me to do it properly anyway but um, I had almost finished this one the second one of this the, the the lemongrass was in that water so I actually just removed the packaging and I put it in my shower and I had the third uh, soap bar that is from Dr. Bronner which is just the peppermint one and I also had to remove it from its packaging and put it in my bathroom tray so I'll show you them uh, because you will not see a box uh, an empty box once I finish them so I thought I would just mention them already because I already tossed the packaging of them um, so it will be it will probably be a good three or four months until I have some soap empty just because I have these ones sitting outside just because I want them to dry a little bit uh, then I had this little sample from MAC it was a sample foundation when they had relaunched their um, what was the thing that they had relaunched studio fix foundation which is very thick and it was the it was the first foundation I had used when I started using MAC over 10 years ago but the, the interesting thing is that I had always been an NC45 and this was an NC44.5 so because it was the first time that they launched um, a half shade um, I was curious but I remembered also that this is a foundation that kind of broke me out because it was so heavy um, so I think I used it a couple times and then I never used it and I know I no longer use foundation so yeah why keep it right I've had it for a long 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 time when I, I, I had the sample 
when we were still in the office because I remember I had it delivered to the office so that's at least a couple of years then if you remember my August vlog I had made my own candle um, you can buy these kits from a company called Yugi um, and I had this candle called detox it's for clearing body and mind so you get you get the wax petals you get everything and then you can make your own candle I still didn't burn mine the smell of this one reminds me of uh, the altitude oil by the manual but anyway so this was the, the the bottle for the essential oils that you mix into your wax and I really if you if you watch that vlog I really took the time to to mix it very slowly and set my intention for it so that's that and another essential oil I finished is this uh, winter spice essential oil it's a mix from Muji and it has uh, it has quite a few things so it has cinnamon it has anise actually what I'm, I'm, I'm a bit slow because I'm actually reading the Latin name and translating it I'm pretty sure they would have probably put the English name somewhere else but um, well it is a wintry kind of uh, essential oil and what I did is that I just um, before I would sleep I would just put a few drops over my uh, um, pillowcase fluff it up turn it and then sleep just because I feel that sensor uh, from a sensorial uh, experience it's always nice to have something nice to smell especially that I have been working on my sleep hygiene and I really want to get this right before I go back to work so I have finished this and because I had a collection of these you know I have a, a, a bit of a essential oil thing behind me I uh, yesterday I finished this and I took the lavender essential oil so this is the one that will be in my bedside and you probably see it in an empty going forward then I had this cleansing conditioner by Grow Gorgeous it's a uh, mm, gift with purchase that I had gotten from Look Fantastic but I've had it for a while I don't think whether I, mean, I don't remember whether I used it once or not but I remember having it for a long time and again this is one of those things that as I was preparing to, to pack for Scotland I found it in my travel size and I decided I don't want to use it so I'm going to just empty it and recycle it and then I'm getting rid of my Tangle Teaser this is something that I've had for a long long time and I, I, I got rid of this and when I was clearing my under sink, you know, when I had the little mini flooding um, because I found this and I've had it for years and like a lot of these little hairs are, are uh, little bristles are actually uh, all damaged but most importantly, um, this was the original Tangle Teaser I have two of the mini ones that I keep in my travel bags but I haven't traveled in ages and even when I went to Scotland I didn't bother and I also have the wet tangle teaser and I um, ever since I bought the the tangle teaser for wet hair I had I couldn't go back to this because because I have thick hair this used to put a strain on, 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 on my arm and on my wrist whereas the other thing actually has a handle and so it's much easier for me to use and so because I didn't touch this for a good three years I just thought it's time for me to recycle it the next product I have is this compressed uh, deodorant by from Dove. It's the Invisible Dry, the thing that has cream in it. Uh, I had this in a sports bag, then I stopped doing sports, then I moved it to my office, uh, then I used it in my office for quite some time, and then he eventually made it back home because over the lockdown I was finishing a lot of the deodorants that I had because now I wanted to switch to the, to the um, mineral one. It did its job, it's just that I'm now transitioning to different types of deodorants, so I wouldn't repurchase this. Though I did repurchase a tiny, tiny Mitchum deodorant when I was at Henley because it was completely, it was, it was very hot and I wanted to freshen up, so I just bought it as an emergency. But it's a tiny one that lives in my bag. And then the last item I have is this Vit Oriental Wax Essential Oils and Floral Vanilla Fragrance. Again, it's one of those things that I cleared from under my sink when I was doing that massive clear out and it's because I just I, I don't wax it's been ages I don't wax I don't have I'm not very hairy to begin with so I've, I don't even know how long I've had this for but it just lived under my sink for a good couple of years and I just thought you know time to get rid of it um, so yeah these are all the things that I have finished I'm going to pop these into the recycling bin 
Oh, I didn't talk about this one. Yeah. This one is the Moroccanoid Hydrating Styling Cream. I've had a few of these before. Right now, I'm not, uh, I did not repurchase it. I usually buy it when it's on offer, but right now I didn't repurchase it just because I'm using other products that I want to finish. Uh, currently, I'm using something from Camille Rose, but I also have products from Pierre Anastase, and I don't want to have too many backups. So I'm, it's going to be a few months until I decide whether or not I want to repurchase re this. But this is effectively everything that I have finished during the month of August. And I'm going to take you now to my bathroom to show you the beauty cabinet and comment on a couple of things that I bought so that we can wrap up this video. Welcome to my bathroom. This is the hair section that I mentioned earlier. And uh, this is the Kerastase oil I'm using right now. It's from their Curl Manifesto and that's what I'm using to replace the Marula oil. For the um, Tangle Teaser, this is the wet version that I have. I have a couple of these. So that's what I've been using for the past couple of years. And for the Moroccan oil hydration, this is the current product that I use as a leave-in conditioner instead of that one. And I would say I'm one third through it. So it will be a moment before I actually consider repurchasing. As we look at the beauty cabinet, this is the current state of it. And you can see that it is looking better and better by the day. This is the salt toothpaste that I purchased a few weeks ago. I really like it. I think that it makes my teeth feel very, very soft. It's not abrasive, but for some reason, whenever I clean my teeth with that, it just feels much better than uh, a normal toothpaste. This thing apparently doesn't have fluoride, so I still keep in the back here this very, very high fluor fluoride uh, toothpaste that I would use every now and then, just to make sure that I don't end up with cavities. And then I have the Waken toothpaste that I bought when I was in Glasgow, but I didn't open this one yet. Then this is my daily moisturizer. It is almost done, which is why I put it in here. I kind of try to put in this box besides the, the flannels. I try to put the things that are about to finish. So this is probably something you will find in next month's empties. Also this one. This is a backup of the... Of the um, the little uh, sterilizing tablets that I showed you earlier. I showed you the small box, but this is the big one. Um, but I don't think that they're anything special. I also have these retainer bright ones that my dentist recommends. So, yeah, I don't really see a difference. Skincare wise, this is where we're at. And I think much has changed in here. And in here you have the top coat to replace the Sally Hansen, it's by Rimmel. And then the base coat to replace the OPI, and that's by Rimmel also. And then the last, latest two things I bought were uh, this OPI gel brick that my sister gave me, and this that I bought myself, which is from Nails Inc. Uh, so these are the two additions to my nail polish collection. Other than that, nothing has changed. And these are the cotton pads. Oh, it's not from Boots, actually. It's called Simply Soft. I don't know, it might be a Boots brand, but these are the cotton pads that I'm using right now uh, since the other pads are done. Uh, but yes, I really like uh, how my beauty cabinet is looking. I think it's looking quite fine. These two lipsticks are actually quite new. They're both MAC Marrakesh because, as I mentioned um, in a video, um, when, ah yeah, my last video actually, when I was just back and I showed you what I bought during the month of August and July, uh, I went to back uh, to MAC and I returned 12 empties and so I got my uh, lipstick and obviously this is the one lipstick that I wear. So, here we go.